good morning adventurers i just wanted to bring you along for a wonderful morning this morning and show you kind of what i like to do when i'm at a campsite a lot of you ask me what do i eat when i'm camping or how do you start your day and on a day like today where it's a little bit overcast and i'm not quite in the jump and run kind of mode this is how i like to do it i like to be a little bit slower intentional make myself something hearty and yummy and then go on to my next adventure. It's a little bit chilly here in the Ozarks right now. And so having something that's warm and cozy along with my hot tea is just the perfect way to start my day. Now, today I have a few things planned for us and I'm not sure exactly where to start. So sitting down for a meal like this will definitely put me kind of in the right direction. And, you know, I just thought today, why not do something a little bit different? Now. This particular meal that you watched me make today has three different kinds of little potatoes in it. It has some Canadian bacon. It has this cheese sauce that's just delicious. But I also put pops of cranberry in there to brighten it a little bit and a tiny bit of egg white. And it's just kind of like this warm, cozy that um, just really makes me happy while I'm here in the beautiful fall weather. Oh, this is gonna be a beautiful day and I can't wait. Mm-hmm. Okay, so breakfast is finished. I'm just making sure I put everything away and then I'm gonna take my trash out. But I did wanna to talk to you guys now that I'm a bit more awake about something that happened the other day. And I don't know yet if I should be alarmed by it or not. So let me tell you a little story. When we went to the Vanarchy event, we were in the middle of a huge field in Arkansas and it was beautiful and the leaves were just starting to change there too but that's beside the point. We actually went to the raffle and I noticed that I thought I got attacked by a horsefly. I've been attacked by a horsefly before, no big deal. And I kind of was just like, ouch, that hurt, ow, okay. And I looked at it and it wasn't anything too serious, so I just kept on. Now, the next day I woke up and it was still kind of sore in that area. So again, I thought horsefly for sure because I am that person who, when I get bit by something, I react a little bit extra, so no big deal. Well, after we left Fanarchy, Dee and I came to this lovely state park to do some fun things on another video that you've probably seen on the channel by now. And I was noticing that my leg was still a little red in that area. And um, I think you can see where I'm going with this. I started to become a little bit worried because it's a couple days out and it's still red. So I did what I always do. I took some Benadryl, I laid down and rested, I put some CBD on it, and I thought that will do it, but it didn't. So this is the leg in question. I know it's super pale, but look at this. This is what it looks like and we're now on like day four. That's not good. Naturally, I started doing the, the Google searches. Um, Dee looked at it. She said, definitely, I should keep monitoring it. And if I start to feel weird, start to run fever, anything like that, I should take myself immediately to the hospital. I woke up this morning, took my temperature, no fever. I don't feel weird. The area hasn't expanded, nothing like that. But I am kind of concerned. Um, I usually don't show my concern too much on the channel because normally I don't have anything that's super concerning happen. But I did let my family know since I am out of state, just in case. And I did go ahead and put some triple antibiotic ointment on it, clean the area really good and put a cold compress because that's what it says on Google that you're supposed to do until you can figure out what kind of spider bite it might be. So we're gonna continue our day. We're just going to be a little 
cautious and uh, I will keep you guys updated on what is happening. Now, being in the outdoors like I am, things like this can happen. And up until this point in all five years of me traveling now, I haven't experienced this. However, I do know the sobriety of certain kinds of bites. So I am gonna monitor this very closely. But um, yeah, so that's where we're at. And uh, now I'm gonna finish cleaning up my little space here. And I think we're gonna roll down the road just a little bit so we can check out some of the beautiful fall and take my mind off of this. everything into the van and I think we're actually just gonna lock up dimples here and kind of go for a little bit of a walk today. I may play it a little bit more low-key than I had initially thought because of the leg but that doesn't mean we have to miss out on an adventure because where we are staying right now is actually one of my favorite places to stay whenever I'm in this part of Missouri. I am at Table Rock State Park and it is gorgeous. One of the things I like best about this particular state park is its proximity to the Branson area and if you've seen my channel you know I do tons of things in Branson so you guys can see what else available but also they have some amazing natural spaces and this time of year is the perfect time of year to come and visit and see them so I think we're going to take on one of the many trails that they have and uh, just kind of otherwise kind of stay a little closer to camp. Yeah, I, I think that works. So let's take out the trash and uh, grab our tea and we'll start walking. Now, another reason I really love this park is because they do have a lot of options. So for example, behind me, we were just in that area. They have electric and non-electric hookups. And then down here, they actually have yurts and little cabins, which are kind of cool. So over here, you notice, ooh, there they are, yeah. So this is a very user-friendly kind of place to come, whether you're a full-timer, a part-timer, or just a weekend warrior who wants to get out and have fun with family. So definitely look into this a little bit more. I'll show you a couple other details of some of the actual sites and what they look like, but for now, let's just go enjoy the walk. I think I need that. It'll distract me a little bit from what's going on. As you can see it's clearly marked as to how far each portion would be from our particular location right here we've already walked a little bit because we came from the back side of the campground but if we were to go all the way to the dewey short it's 2.2 miles and of course if you were to do the return it would be an additional 2.2 so altogether 4.4 miles for a nice beautiful scenic hike i love it now we're probably not going to go all the way over there today because that's quite the haul on a busted leg, but we're gonna enjoy some of these amazing fall views and uh, enjoy our tea. Let's go.
like me, you have tried to chase fall at least one time in your life. And I try every year, but I have to say, I think that this year I have been more successful than usual. And right now I hit the Ozarks at the perfect time. Oh, it'll just knock your breath out just looking at the colors. It's gorgeous, so beautiful. And I love the Ozarks any time of year pretty much, but I have to say, after seeing this, this is my favorite. So I made it to the bench and I decided to sit down for a minute and just take it in. It is beautiful. And on the other side of this little area right here is actually the other campground here at Table Rock. There's two campgrounds and usually I stay at campground two because I don't need plugins. However, campground one has some beautiful sites for RVs. So it's really, really nice. And I have stayed there before as well when I did need power. So that's just kind of something. From this bench right here, we have a great view of the foliage. We have a wonderful view of the marina in front of us. It's just really nice. And this is the perfect day, I think, for us to be out here. To be honest, I think that um, it was a slightly bit warmer. But yeah, just got my legs up, enjoying this space, having a couple sips of my tea. This is it. This is how I like to spend a peaceful morning. Of course, not all campgrounds are gonna be conducive to doing a beautiful fall walk like this, nor will they be conducive to doing a walk at all. Some just don't have the capacity for trails and things like that. But when I find one that does, best believe I take advantage. And this little trail started only a couple of hundred yards away from my actual campsite, which makes it even better. So just, Enjoying the life. Let's uh, get back on the trail and see what else we can find. Along the entirety of the trail, they have these little juts that you can actually take down to the water. I found one that I want to go on, so I'm uh, gonna step very carefully because these don't have the same kind of pavement as this does. So uh, let's cross our fingers this goes well.
Oh, it's perfect. It's so perfect out here. The water is calm today. It's not as high as sometimes it is. And you get this beautiful view of the shore. Wow, this is, this is nice. Like somebody did a little bit of stone stacking over here now whenever the lake is actually up this is all submerged and you can kind of tell by the way that these rocks below us look that they get pounded away at by the water pretty frequently and then this shelf right here this also is usually all underwater and the shelf is a little bit taller than me but wow, just wow, that's beautiful right there. I did go ahead and decide to cut through the campground area so I could show you what it looks like. These are the basic sites for campground one, which has the electrical hookups. As you can see, they're nice and long, so you could park just about any kind of rig in there. And, and just for reference, there is actually someone on this side who is in a pretty big fifth wheel. And notice they have tons of room left for their vehicle that tows it and then a little bit of space after that also. But each one of these sites is equipped very standard with the campfire ring, which has a grill attached to it and a picnic table. And I want to tell you, camped here a lot of times, no sags, no drags, which is another reason why I love this campground. So now I think we're just going to take the main road and uh, walk kind of along it till we get back to our campsite. This has been beautiful and it just keeps going and going. Okay, so I was, I was walking along State Park Drive right here. It actually comes to like a split and that takes us over to our campground. However, over here along this road, we actually have like a little amphitheater area, not too far from campground one. And there is a different trailhead also that we can hop onto. And this little trail actually goes along this side of the campground right here. Now we have been hiking on this outer loop along this little tiny line that actually goes all the way up up and then over until we get all the way up to the visitor center. So as you can see, there's a couple of different trail systems that you can actually use right here in park. And then as you go across the street, there is another one right here also. And I've hiked on a portion of that one as well. And then over here, I've hiked on another portion. And that's actually the one that you saw me hike with my mom. Like I said, this campground is just really central to a lot of cool things. Branson is just one aspect of that. The natural outdoor spaces, there's tons of them. So yeah, but now we're only a little bit from our campsite and I have a few more trees that I've been glaring at and wanting to share with you because they're gorgeous and uh, they are the epitome of fall. So let's go check those out.
Okay guys, that was a good little walk. I really enjoyed it. Let's check our step counter to see about how far that we went. Now I did do kind of my own little path going out on the main road. So it's not the exact amount that the sign at the beginning of the hike said. So let's check this out. Okay, I checked it and it looks like we did about 2.1 miles this morning. So that was a good way to start the day. Now I did take it a little bit slower than I normally would because of my leg and I do feel a little tense now in the spot so let me show you what it looks like now and um we're gonna keep monitoring this okay so up we go Ooh. and then it's on this side so it's it's right it's right here okay it's it's still red it's not really warm it is a little warm from like the walk but not more warm than the rest of my leg but it is kind of tight now. So I think I'm going to go and take a shower, put some stuff on it and elevate it with some ice. And since I can't take you along for any of that, I think I'm gonna wrap up this video right now and I'll just kind of keep you posted as we go on what's going on with my leg. Oh, crossing our fingers that it's not anything terrible, but Again, we're just going to keep it clean, we're going to keep it medicated, and I'll see you guys on the next adventure. If you've enjoyed coming out to Table Rock State Park, my little home away from home, whenever I'm in the Branson area, I hope that you'll check out this park on your own and make this an adventure that you're wanting to have as well. Till next time, guys. Bye!